Hey guys, I Horror Movies here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IV Advanced Solo Season Run. In between episodes, I took care of all my training off camera, and we're on, we're now on level 90. Uh, actually, um, I wanted to be on level 85 at first, although I went to try the trap doors in here again, and the second one here that you have to fight, I could not kill it at all. It was, every time I tried, it'd just be the same exact thing over and over and over again. I, I would deal like 2,000 some damage, he would use search, I would do like 2,800 some, ninth dimension, I'm dead. It happened every single time, I have no idea why. But um, yeah, I went ahead and did some more training, got to level 90, tried all three of them again, and I actually killed them all this time. So let's hope that that will actually like stay, like, hopefully that trend will stay. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and show up my stats real quick first. Let's see, a 98 strength, okay, almost a 99. Uh, 99 stamina, 49 agility, blah blah blah. So nothing really, t nothing too major there. Although the thing that should be most important here is probably my number of attacks. The, 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 uh, the, the, the 16 right there. That means um, how many, I guess, actual hits you get or whatever. I mean, the higher the, high the number is, the better damage you'll deal. So, there you go. So, um, yeah, level 90 right now. So, we should pretty much be good for the rest of the game, actually. And so, with that, let's go on to the Seal Cave now. And Norman, the enemies around here, the normal ones, they're really not that hard, actually. So, yeah, I'm just going to show them off right now. Two Screamers. These guys check. Things are very, very easy. Physical attacks will take them out in one shot. And they miss because they fail. And boom, dead easy enough. Yay! Yeah, I went ahead um, to, for, um, to get this far to level 90. I went ahead and used a cheat code for this. Uh, 50,000 experience points after a battle. Um, yeah, I know. Say whatever you want by using codes. I just felt like this is the best way to do it. Just um, the, the fastest way to do it, of course, too. So, there you go. Anyway, I see I want to show off uh, if I can do equipment over here. Tap power 151, defense of 88, and magic defense of 14. So not bad at all. And make the way up these rope ladders here. You're pretty much just to go up or down them. Just go, let's walk to them. Up, just climb up or climb down them and whatever. It'll, it'll do it automatically too, just so you know. Anyway, trap door number one. Now, if you want to do this, um, this can kind of help uh, if you really want. Um, change the battle mode to wait and change the battle speed down to six. Although what I did for this test, um, I was doing off camera, um, I went ahead and just left it as is, kept the battle mode at active and battle speed at 1. So, worked out pretty well that way too, so let's go ahead and uh, give it a try. The door is transformed into a monster! Hey, this way, what should happen here? Yeah, our turn first thing. Crap ton, uh, crap ton of damage. He gets his turn, he's a search. And then our next turn should kill him. So, boom, there you go. Now, the theme with trap doors is that they have exactly 5,000 HP. That's one thing. Um, they also you you uh, you only have two turns to kill them. You know, you pretty much you have to deal at least 5,000 HP in two attacks. Because otherwise, they'll use search first thing, then use ninth dimension and kill you in one shot, no matter what you do. So that's why you pretty much have to be at level 90 on this at this point. Now, if you really wanted to, you could do this a lot lower than level 90, but that would mean relying on luck, which I do not want to do. And that pretty much mean you'd have to rely on critical hits to actually kill these guys, which it's not worth it. So. I just prefer being at a much higher level and being able to kill them in two hits outright than relying on parallel hits. So that's just what I think. So there you go. Anyway, there's only three trap doors that we actually have to fight. So all the other ones I'll be skipping here. And then treasure-wise, um, the chests I will be getting will be, will be these ones out in the open right here. If there's anything behind trap doors, I will not be getting them. Just it's not really worth it anyway. So just keep that in mind. Now, if you really do want to fight the other ones around here, um, by all means, if you really want to, they are good for experience points, uh, 30,000 each. And there's, there's like 16 around here, something like that. Maybe more, maybe less, I'm really not sure. That's just a random number I'm throwing out there. Yeah, if you want to find them all, by all means, but I'm not doing to, so there you go. Anyway, some treasure around here, pretty worthless actually. So are the enemies around here. Okay, now nah, these guys are easy. Physical attacks will take them out easy enough, so there you go. Yeah, at this point, we're on level 90. Uh, the rest of the game should be pretty easy actually after this point. Just that the seal cave is probably the most boring part of a solo run, because you have to train oh so Freaking much to actually even survive here, which sucks. But yeah, we should be actually double training for most of the game. Um, what I might do, yeah, I might get to level 99 by the end of the game. Maybe I'm really not sure. We'll see what happens. Anyway, trap door number two. This guy was a dick before, but I should be able to kill him now, hopefully. Let's see, let's see. Uh, first turn, very very quickly. There's half damage right there. You did your turn. You use search. Blah blah blah. Physical attack and boom, dead. There you go. But yeah, that second trap door was the real problem here because for whatever reason the battle was a stalemate over and over and over again. I would do the same amount of damage, he would do search, and then I, I couldn't kill him on my, on my second turn, and then ninth dimension. It's the same thing every single time, and I have no idea why. So it kind of sucks. Anyways, uh, chests over here. We have a high potion and a phoenix down. That's handy. 
They make their way down through here, the little passageway right here. Might be a little hard to see, it kind of blends in, but oh well. Let's see, another random battle. Anything new? Yes. Uh, Miss Vamp and Evil Bats. These guys are guys, bats, chitch, things, whatever. They're pretty easy. Um, yeah, pretty much all they do is use, is, uh, use Vampire over and over and over again. Uh, the Miss Vamp, they can uh, confuse you every once in a while. Um, they also have a physical attack and can, uh, I think use Vampire as well. But yeah, again, these guys are very, very easy to take them out in one shot. And oh, they have Thundara. Okay, I forgot about that. So, ooh, over 100 damage. I am so scared. Except, well, not really. Anyway, um, so yeah, already, already taken down two trap doors. Got one more to go. And then after that is the big old bad boss here. And then really, after this point, the solo run should be easy the rest of the way. His part always tripped me up before in a solo run because the very first time I did this back in the PS1, actually, like. Well, like a few years ago, or whatever. I cannot get past this point. Um, I just cannot be bothered with the level grinding for this, and just didn't want to do it, so I just kind of stopped. But thankfully, now we have emulators, we have fast forward codes for all this stuff and whatever, so I can finally beat it now. So hooray for that! Yeah, anyway, yeah. What, what, uh, once you make it past this point, the rest of the game is pretty easy, actually. So yay for that! Oh, a potion. That's handy. Except not really. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, make our way down this ladder over here, skipping all trap doors, of course. And make your way down to right over here. And we're actually almost to the end of the part already, so yay for that. Let's go ahead and, um, uh, yeah, I'll use some high potions, why not? I love high potion spam. Let's see, one and a two. And let's see, arrange my items because I have, I have, I have that, that, never mind. I have RPG OCD. I'm gonna go ahead and save right here. And let's see. Right then, and down we go to the near end of this part. And the uh, last trap door is just up ahead. So let's get to it and not do that. Didn't even mean to do that, but it happened, so, oh well. Yeah, this part's pretty straightforward, really. Uh, the treasure around here, also, I should mention, um, it's not that great, to be honest. I mean, there's a couple pieces of equipment around here. But, I mean, if you've already been to the Cave of Summons and the Silph Cave first, like you should have, then the equipment around here really isn't needed. So, there you go. Let's see here. Last trap door. Let's go! I should also mention for the trap doors, if you get their HP down to... Like uh, under a thousand or whatever, they'll transform into a, like a chimera or something like that. But yeah, this they're easy. They're not really that hard to be honest. So there you go. All three trap doors are dead. Yay! And we have made it to the crystal room finally. And we did the final crystal, the dark crystal. Yay! We went do 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 do. Right then, now before we get out of here, because it's a low bearing crystal, I'm not just I'm gonna spoil that right now because it's of course it's, it's a low bearing crystal. Why wouldn't it be? Anyway, if you're coming up ahead, I highly, highly recommend changing the battle mode down to wait and battle speed down to six. That's five, not six. I can't count. I can't count apparently. So there you go. And also, um, yeah, level 90, the boss will be very, very easy. But one extra thing that really, really comes in handy at this point, um, if you have a spider silk with you, uh, be it's ever either find in a chest or get one from an enemy or enemies or whatever. I think multiple enemies can drop them. Yeah, if you have one, definitely keep it around you, or keep it with you for this part here. If you don't, um, the enemies do drop them. Um, I'll have to look up in the bestiary to see what, um, actually, wait a second. Um, there's an in-game bestiary too, I forgot about that, so. Yeah, if you want to dig through this to find the enemies that drop a, a um, spider silk, by all means, go ahead. Actually, I, I thought goblins dropped them, but oh well. Um, just something drops and I know, I just don't remember what exactly, so. Yeah, I'm not going to bother digging through all this, so there you go. Yeah, what I probably will do, though, I'll put in the episode description of what en enemies really do drop them, so that'll help you out there. So with that, I've rambled on enough, so... Let's go! And, oh no, the wall is shaking. And it's, of course, a load-bearing crystal, because RPGs have to have load-bearing anything, anything, ever. Eh, of course it did. So much for a smooth exit, yeah. Alright then, demon wall battle! Now, yeah, he will keep creeping over to you slowly, slowly, and slowly. And then once he's close enough to you, he will use Crush, which will one-shot you. So, we don't want that to happen. So, first things first, go with Spider Silk to slow him down. And then if you have a uh, Hermes Shoes, go ahead and use those as well. But I don't at this point, so don't worry about it. And pretty much, I'm just physical attached the rest of the way. Uh, he has 28,000 HP. So, I um, should take probably 7 to 9 physical attacks thing to take him out. So, hopefully less, but yeah, anywhere from 7 to 9 will do it, so... Yeah, he, he, uh, he stone gazed right there, but, um, yeah, nothing to worry about. It missed, so I don't, I don't care about that. Yeah, he has physical attacks. They're, they are pathetic, and beyond pathetic, really. And Whereas my physical attacks are not. 
Now, if you want to, um, if you have the Adventure Sword um, from the Sylph Cave, you can also use that here, but um, I don't have that quite yet. I haven't, I haven't done that off-camera yet, so... Actually, I probably won't now that I think of it. Um, well, I still might. I have no idea. I mean, at this point, it's really not worth it because the Defender will be useless in a little while anyway, because we'll get our next best sword soon. And then after that, um, we only have two more weapons to go. Well, really one, actually. Well, one if you're doing um, normal game, two for bonus content, so... Oh well, just keep yeah, whatever. Anyway, yeah, physical attacks, just, um, yeah, my finger's on the A button right now on my keyboard, because I have my A button, oh, actually, my Z button on my keyboard is the A button for the controller for this. So, yeah. Pretty much, you just hold your A button, and you should be fine. Should need, to, yeah, you won't need to heal at all, so. Yeah, I'd be disappointed if my HP drops below, like, A260 or whatever, so. Yeah, should only take a few more attacks, and we've got them. Yeah, you're playing normally, um, pretty much strategy-wise, um, have Edge throw any items you have, the Cherry Cans, the Fuma Cherry Cans, um, Rosa, you slow first thing, um, Preserve Cane and Cecil if you really want to, um, then a physical attack with Cane and Cecil, um, uh, just have her use Levy Thin over and over and over again. And it should be fine, and, uh, my HP dip below E260. Oh, I'm, I'm sad now. Oh, well. So, she should only take one or two more attacks, I'm thinking. Uh, let's see here, Cecil, can you do it on this one? No, you can't. Okay, well, that's fine. Still have plenty of distance between us and them anyway, so I'm not worried. Miss, fail. I think it should be just one more attack here, and... Boom! Purple Mist! Yes, we have defeated the Demon Wall! Yeah, I find it kind of weird that enemies, and the normal enemies around here, the trapdoors, they're more annoying and difficult than the uh, Demon Wall himself. So, there you go. Nothing to it. Now, unfortunately, at this point, I'm um, pretty sure we have to walk our way out of here. Yeah, we have to walk out of here. Although, I guess if you want to, um, you need to really use a warp spell, but um, that's kind of using her, so I'm not going to bother with that. But yeah, if you want to, go right ahead. I'll just run out. It's not really that big a deal. Anyway, I highly recommend also you know, going back to active and battle speed of 1, so you're not here forever when stuck in random battles. So. Right then, and away we go! And just run the way out of here. This, yeah, this part's not that big as you've already seen, so it's not, not a huge deal. Yeah, it feels good to finally be in the seal cave. Yeah, again, this part always got me tripped up in the solo run before. Yeah, it's nice that I can finally beat it, so thank God for that. So, sense of accomplishments, indeed. Yeah, definitely go ahead and save up here as well. I've lost, like, what, 28 HP, 38, something like that? So, <laughs> there we go. Alright, then now I'll just make our way out of here as well. Um, random battle. Oh, Chimera Brain, new enemy here. Um, all he'll do is use Blaze over and over and over again. Um, ow, okay, that hurts. Cecil, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him now, kill him now, kill him now, thank you. Okay, I didn't know Blaze was that powerful, but apparently it is. But yeah, normally, yeah, they're not that hard, but yeah, just kill him very first thing so you don't use Blaze over and over and over again. I got a level, are you serious? <laughs> wow, that's fantastic. Level 91. Right then, yeah, now I need 140,000 experience points to level up. So, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna go and heal up after that as well, because, um, that was kind of painful. So, you know, yay for high potion spam, there you go. Okay, now let's leave. Yeah, pretty straightforward out of here, so while I'm doing this and not talking about the game, I'm talking about other random stuff. Um, let's see, um, oh, how about all the snow lately? Um, from what I've heard, I think, um, I think it was just yesterday, um, 49 out of 50 states actually had snow. Uh, the only one that didn't was Florida, actually, which I find that pretty crazy, actually. I mean, Florida, I mean, they already get snow anyway, from what I know anyway, but, um, I mean, 49 states have snow out of 50, including Hawaii. That's ridiculous. But true, apparently. Be over here, in, uh, at least in my area, Pennsylvania, southwest Pennsylvania, we have, like, well, in certain parts have, like, um, probably have a foot of snow, but we probably have, like, 8 or 10 inches at least, if not more. So, yeah, we haven't had this much snow in quite a while, actually, so that's kind of cool. No pun intended. Or maybe there is, I don't know. But, yep, that's pretty much it there. Um, oh, wait, didn't mean to go this way. I'm getting so lost. And a back attack. That's just wonderful. Don't want to fast forward here. I'll just let them do their own thing. Yeah, let them do their bat thing, whatever bats do. I really don't know. I'm not a bat. I, like, I would know anyway. Yeah, you just keep vampiring him for, like, 10 HP or 12 or 16 or 15 or whatever. And, yeah. This one will do 13. Ah, uh, oh, 15. I was close. This one will do 16. Uh, 20! Damn. It's powerful. For a vampire, anyway. 
Anyway, yeah, go down this way, yada yada yada. Yeah, we know the way out of here, everyone. So. Alright then, and we have made it out! Now, let me check something real quick. Um, let me see here. Blah, blah. Yeah, they still have all their equipment or whatever. I don't even care, so. Oh well. Alright then, and the screen is turning blue, dark again. That cannot be good. You belong to me. Bring me the crystal! Oh god, it's Dolbez. Wow, that was kind of lame of me doing that, dude. I really don't like reading the text boxes like that. Like, people didn't read it for themselves. I hate doing that, to be honest. Get a hold of yourself, slap. Well, well, that's good to know. All right, then, nothing to worry about then, or not. Oh my goodness, gasp! You bastard! And now you shall reach the moon. Like what you want there, we don't know quite yet. Well, maybe we do. I don't even remember. The way to the moon will open, and now Kane is under his control again. And Roll Business is, snick is laughing at us, snickering like a schoolgirl, like, like all evil villains do. Well, that could have gone better. So, what can we do now with the Dark Crystal being seized by Kane? Find out next time on Final Fantasy IV Advanced Solo Season Run. This has been I Don't Movies on Off, guys. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.